Hello, this is Dave Jenkins, and we're live in studio with Carney McKellen, and she's a Russian spy. So, Carney, uh, let me ask you, how do you become a Russian spy at the tender age of seven years old? What? Um... Um, I just, I just saw a building. I wanted to go in it, so I went in it, and then I saw some people talking about spy things, and then I asked them about it, and they asked me if I wanted to be a spy, and then I think I said yes. Very interesting. Now, of course, working for the Russian spy agency, were they speaking Russian, or they were speaking English? They're speaking English. Like a British English. Oh, British English. That's very interesting. So you're saying that the British may have infiltrated the Russian spy agency. Is that correct? Um, sure, yeah. Wow, that's, that's a huge revelation here. Um, so now, what kind of spy activities are you involved in? Are you following people around? Are you gathering intelligence? Are you doing anything physical? Or what, what's well, the deal? We have these like kind of missions. Well, we have to like you don't stop. Have to scream. Oh, <laughs> it's loud though. Which is loud? All right, let's keep talking. Okay. Um, so, so, so you're you're talking about your missions here. Yeah. So my missions sometimes they're like bad people. I have to go like spy on them, fight some bad people. It's pretty like. It's fine. Oh, interesting. And do you uh, are you issued a gun to to use for your spy missions? Well, there's this kind of gun, but that is just for spies. Oh, okay. And so and they, but they let you use a gun as a seven year old. Well, they teach me. Oh, they taught you how to use. Okay, so you have the gun. You're following people. You're in dark alleys, shadowing them, finding out whatever you need to know. Has there ever been a situation where you felt like you were in serious danger? Well, sometimes. Any but particular examples? Like, sometimes there's these hard missions. I feel like like I'm in danger, but I'm really not. Oh, you're not in danger? I'm really just like continuing the mission, but I feel like, it, like it, they're hard missions, so I feel like I'm in danger. Okay, okay. And... Uh, are your missions usually here in the United States, or are you going abroad? Are you traveling the world? Uh, what's what's the typical well, location? Well, um, we sometimes it's here. Sometimes if there's something we have to do, like in a different country, a different state, we travel there. Interesting. And uh, has has there ever been a situation in which you were forced to drive a car, say, tail somebody, and you get in a big action scene chase? Has that ever happened? Well, not really like a car, like an electric, really fast scooter or an oh. electric bike or That's an electric like motorcycle for kids. That's interesting. That's it's interesting how they they use different technology for different age ranges of their spies. So uh, we're learning a lot about the uh, the Russian spy infiltration system mm -hmm. here. Um, so. Do you enjoy your job? Are you sad that you miss out on kids' things like soccer games and playing with your friends? I mean, sometimes, but um, the spy missions are a little fun. So, do you do your friends know that you're a spy? Or no, so I keep I just keep it a secret. You keep it a secret. So, is that a difficult secret to keep from your friends? Are they the kind of friends that ask about you? Hey, well, why weren't you at my birthday party? And you have to. Explain to them some elaborate lie. Well, sometimes I have to. I do have to lie to them. They can't know that I'm a spy. So when they have ask me questions, if they say like, like say they were like, like imagine if you were a spy, I would I would just have to say, what do you mean I'm a spy? Like <laughs> no, I'm not a spy. I would have to say that my mom's not a spy. My and they and they've asked you if uh, you know to imagine if as if you were a spy before. That's come up before. Yeah. Oh wow. It's it's that's, hard to keep a secret from them. I can imagine. Yeah. And but your family knows. Yeah, my family knows because they're like sometimes they do spy missions. Oh, they do spy missions with you. Yeah, but sometimes like it's only Is, like so. Me. Are they spies also, or they just assist you in your mission? I mean, 
There's spies, but it's just that I usually go that with um do spy missions by myself, but they help me sometimes. They do their missions like alone or sometimes together. Interesting. So uh here we have uh, Karma's mo- mother, uh, Brzezinski, and she's going to explain to us how she became interested in the profession. So, Brzezinski? Uh, no comment. Into the microphone, please. No comment. Uh, did, I guess, that, does that mean that you're, you're not allowed to comment or you're just going to be cold and not, not answer any questions for us here? Uh, no speak English. You clearly do speak English, so, uh, I mean, she said that the Russian spies were British, so... <laughs> no, 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 no English. No, well, okay, all right. Well, she uh, speaks Spanish sometimes. She doesn't know too much English. Okay, so do you know Russian? No, I know Spanish and English. Our family speaks Spanish. So the, so the Russians are trying to infiltrate the United States with British operatives who I mean, then only speak Spanish and English? Is that I mean, correct? I, I mean, they usually just speak English to me. Okay, okay. And uh, that's all for right now. We're going to take a quick commercial break, and we'll be back after this with our featured guest, the spy. Uh, so this will be right back. Don't like what you see in the mirror? Come join Planet Fitness today with $0 down, 35 a month, and cancellation anytime. You'll be on your way to a better you in no time. And we're back here with Cardi McKaylin. Uh, now, it just got pressed over to my desk here that that's your alias. That's not a real name. So... Uh, if you're allowed to tell us, what what is your real name? Bella Stark. Bella Stark. Bella Stark. So that was the name that your parents gave you when you were born, and then you had to get a fake name. So which one do you use at school? I mean, my, regu- my real name, Bella Stark. Okay, so your friends know you as Bella Stark, but everybody else knows you as Cardi McKayla. Is that correct? Everybody the in the spy people- agency... Oh, the spy agency, they call me, um, um, my, my fake name. Okay, so they use that fake name. So, um, we were discussing before some of your missions. I know you probably can't go too far into it, but, um, what's the, the craziest place that you've visited in one of these missions? Like, in a different country... Or state, there's like some really crazy places that I go that I have to go to because it's crazy. So there's like bad people doing stuff there. So the spy agency has to like sometimes like travel there, or even in the different states and countries, we have to travel there, and then we have to like 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 stop them. Hmm. And and is there? Uh, one particular place that stands out as being uh, particularly beautiful that you've you've seen, you've conducted a mission there? I mean, yeah. Like, do you know in the Dominican Republic the mountains and stuff? Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah sometimes I have to go up there and sometimes they're like going about stuff because you know sometimes like there's people there, sometimes they rob people, sometimes they take their money. Sometimes oh, they do, like, interesting. Stuff. So... But sometimes, like, the police do it, but if, like, it's, like, bad that, like, the spies have to do it, then we have to go there. Okay, so you're the, the big guns. They call you in when they can't figure out who's done what, and and then you come in and save the day. Now, have you ever taken down any government officials, or, or is it just regular criminals? Um, I took in down um, the officials. Oh, interesting. I guess you can't go too much into that. Um, yeah, but it's a lot of training to learn how to fight. Because first, before, when I started um, training, I had to learn how to fight. They had to give me a test. I had to pass some tests. Interesting. And and so I'm guessing you know martial arts. What kind of uh, uh, training have you gotten in, in that regard? I mean, karate, chops, um, kicks. A roundhouse kick, a front kick. Uh, so you could beat me up right now is what you're saying. Yes. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, I'll try to stay on your good side. Um, now, 
One of the things that I like to uh, to do when I imagine spies is that they, they play all these different characters and they come up with different backstories to try to blend well, in. Have you ever we, done any of that? Like, we make movies and stuff. Yeah, we've done that. As a spy, you're, you're making movies. Yeah, we make movies too, but except we're just real spies. Okay, so your, your cover is that you're a spy, but you're also a real spy. So you're playing a spy in the movie? So you're 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 playing a spy in the movie. So so nobody would understand that you're an actual spy. They would just think that you're playing a character in the movie. Yeah. I guess well, that's that's why it's so good. My friends have seen me play in the movie. So then, do your friends come up to you and tell you, "Oh, I saw you in that movie. You were a really good spy." And then you kind of have to be careful because you know that you're an actual spy. Yes. Oh wow, that's that's got to be tough. Um, what was the? Do you, do you remember any of the names of the movies that you've been in? One of them is like Spy Attack, um, Spies. So they're all they're all pretty on the nose about being spy movies. They're not they don't have cool names like Mission Impossible or anything. Yeah, and one of the movies are like called Spyland. Spyland, interesting. So how so you've how long have you been an agent? Because you're seven years old. I can't imagine that you were particularly skilled uh, even three or four years ago. So this must be pretty sudden, right? Um, yeah. So what 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 age did you start your spy training? Mm, when I was around six. Six. So you've only been a spy for one year, and you've made several movies and taken down bad guys. That's pretty interesting. That's that's a lot of uh, a lot of work. How do you have time for school? I mean. It's really like sometimes I have to take off school and sometimes I have to do it in the afternoon. Sometimes I have to do it in the morning. So if I sometimes if I have time to do, go to school in the afternoon really late, I would have to do that. Oh, interesting. So are you going to school in preparation to well, continue your spy studies or are you going to regular school and then you, you also do spy stuff, uh, spy education and, and training and whatnot? So in school, regular school, like where my friends are, go to, um, sometimes like I, sometimes we like, you know when we start playing in the end, I just take a paper, start writing the thing, things like I have to do, sometimes a map, sometimes I just write the things, um, what I have to do down for the spy mission that I do sometimes. Okay, that's uh Now, so do your teachers, they do they know you as an actress then or They only know me as an actress. They don't know that I'm a real spy. Either. Okay. That's very interesting. So, um now you mentioned your parents are involved. But do you have any siblings that are also spies? No. No, no siblings. So, so um let me tell you something because um, I forgot what I was going to tell you. Uh, <laughs> That's all right. We're uh, so like um sometimes. No, wait. Let me ask you something. Are you? You're not on a mission right now, are you? Well, today I have to do a mission, but later, not now. So you're not you're not trying to spy on me. No. To get information. No. Okay, that's that's good. I was hope, hoping that wasn't the case. Um, we hear your mom piping in from the other room, but she was uh, kind of shy. I thought she only spoke Spanish, but it appears I mean, that she, she speaks knows, English. So she knows some Spanish. I mean English. No, 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 no. Oh uh, well, uh, apparently she knows a little bit more English than she let on. That's probably their uh, spy training coming in handy. I mean, she knows more Spanish, but she only knows a little bit of English, not too much. Okay, and is your is your father here? Is he is he in the audience right now? Um, not, no. not in the other booth. I mean, yeah, he is. He's like somewhere in the back, though, in the higher spot, so he could see me more. Hello, my name is Mario. I'm her father. Okay. Um, nobody invited you in here, but uh, I guess while we have you here, uh, Mario, how how do you feel about your daughter being uh, a spy and taking on such dangerous missions? As a, a seven-year-old, oh, it, it's all good. It's she's she's very skilled. 
Okay, and and can I ask you about your Italian accent and your your high pitched voice? Is that uh, is that natural? Are you from Italy? No, I'm from Queens. Okay. Um, well, anyway, thank you for coming. Um, we'll uh, we'll we'll shift this back to uh, to the uh, the honored guest. Um, so. Oh, he is, he's pretty funny. Yeah. So he's 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 more of the jokester. He's in the comedy movies, uh, I guess, as opposed to the spy-oriented stuff. I mean, he doesn't really do spy movies, like movies or stuff. Okay. Is he it, doesn't really do too much missions. I'm the one who really does the most missions. So they expect you to take on the bulk of the work for your family, and you're yeah. seven. Now, doesn't that go against certain child labor laws? I mean, they don't do that. I mean, they don't make me do the missions, like... Sometimes they don't really they don't really get called in to do missions. So they usually mm-hmm. just the spy agency just really cause, um usually calls me. Okay, and so you have your own phone in that case, or is they they use some sort of other communication? I mean, I have a walkie. A walkie-talkie, interesting. So do they now? You do all this spy work for the Russian government. We also have like some these cool headsets. We just touch them and we start talking. Oh, like a Bluetooth headset. Okay, yeah. interesting. So you're you're working for the Russian government, and you've been recruited heavily. You've been trained. Do they pay you for this, or what? What's the situation here? They they, they pay me. They pay you well. Okay, so when they pay you, is that in U.S. currency or is that in Russian, or do they give you some some other form of payment, or how how does that all work? They just gave me a regular payment. Regular payment, but. I guess my question is, you're you're seven, so if you were being hired by the U.S. government, it would be highly illegal for a seven-year-old to be working as many hours as you've probably been working. Um, so do, how I do mean, they get around that? I got around it because then they started talking, but then the cops like realized that I was actually strong enough and tough enough to start um, being a spy, so they let me be a spy. Interesting. Now, do you ever find yourself uh, working with police and you say to yourself, these guys are idiots, I know more than them, and then you sort of take over, or is it, you have a working relationship with the police? I mean, sometimes I do have to fight the police for something. Interesting. Oh, fighting the police. Um, so I don't really want to. It's just that sometimes I have to. Sometimes they're the bad guys? I mean, not the bad guys. They're still doing good. It's just sometimes we have to, like, get past them, but sometimes you have to do the fighting to get past them. Oh, interesting. So um, we're going to take one more commercial break, and then uh, we're going to finish up here, and uh, hopefully we won't get in too much trouble with the Russian spy agency because we're yeah, we're so, revealing quite a bit right so now. So just for this commercial, just stay here because it's just going to be a little quick. So we can finish this real real fast. So All right, we'll be right back. Here. Stay here. You heard it first. Planet Fitness sucks. Don't you get tired of using the same sweaty equipment? Then come on down to Retro Fitness where you can get a full month membership for $1 a month and zero down. That's right. See if Planet Fitness can do that. They probably can't because they suck. So, All right, we're back. Um, Bella Stark. Uh, now... I'm assuming that you haven't seen Game of Thrones because you you seem to be quite busy. But uh, no, d- are I, you aware that your last name is the same as the the popular te- te- television show characters? My last name is just Stark. But okay. um, I mean, I I watched Game of Thrones. Oh, so you did? Yeah, you watched Game I, of Thrones? Yeah, Who? I watched Game of Thrones. I lost the wa- the last one too. So which which was your favorite character? I mean, Sansa. I got a lot of favorite characters. Now, do you do you identify yourself with some of the characters, uh, Littlefinger, or Lord Varys? They seem to be sneaky, kind of spy-oriented uh, characters. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, getting back to your profession uh, now, if you were, are you at the age where you're you're interested in boys in school? How would you? T- no. No, you're not there yet. Okay. So, are you planning on getting into the the? Uh, the dating game later on in life? And if so, how are you going to balance that uh, spy work-life balance I- issue? I don't know. I haven't thought about that yet. Well, uh, maybe that's something that you you, you want to ask your superiors. Maybe you've got some... Uh, do you ever do you do missions alone, or do you, you usually go with a partner? Or I mean, sometimes I go with a partner, but sometimes I go with a 
sometimes I go with partner, but I usually go with missions alone. Alone, interesting. But still with the headsets. Every single mission that I do, I I use the headsets. Oh, so that's like a, a universal communication between yeah. all spies. Okay. Yeah, we need we need the headsets just in case we need to talk about something. Now, or when you I, like tell them information about the person that we're like spying on or something that are happening. Interesting. And have you ever had to call for backup with these and they, they send in uh, yeah, like spy yeah. planes or, or tanks or something? Sometimes. Interesting. And sometimes I just call for backup and someone just comes with me. Interesting. So have you ever been shot at? Yes, by the bad spies with oh, so their guns. Wow. And, and was that scary for you or you were conditioned already for that? It was scary, but... I did do training, so I don't really get shot at too much. We also do moves, like, so they don't hit us. We block them, we block them, or we just jump down. We jump, or we, like, go up if they're trying to do something, or, like, say they were trying to, like, like make us fall from the bottom, we would have to jump. Interesting. It's quite a comprehensive training program in uh, a little under a year. So how long did you have to... Uh, train before you were sent out into the field to do these missions well um they just like they said you know they just told me if i wanted to be a spy i said yes so then the first mission all they have to do is just use the headsets and call me in for a mission mm -hmm. interesting so they gave you the headset you get all set up with the training program and yeah, then they, they gave me all my like my um my weapons and stuff. They gave me like sometimes we need a belt. So what kind of, what kind I of weapons have, do you have? I mean, I have a gun. I have um um uh, a laser Interesting. laser um and I also have um a Spy suit. I have a spy suit. Interesting. And is that and, that is um, that more for camouflage or that has special weapons in it also? Or? I mean, it's for spies, so I have to use it. So it's so I can stretch a little more if I have to. Interesting. So um, I once heard an anecdote about uh, the the ancient Japanese spies. They would. Uh, they had the, the, the sword and the, the cover. They would open up the cover at the other end and they would hide underwater and breathe through their through their sword cover. Have you ever had to do anything ridiculous like that, trying to, to stay hidden just to make sure that you can, you can find your bad guy? No, but sometimes I have to go in the water and just get that thing so you could breathe underwater. Oh, they have, they have something you can breathe underwater. Yeah, I need. Oh, it. We have it, but sometimes we really need to do that. So, like, go underwater because sometimes, like, there's bad Japanese people that try <laughs> fighting us too. So we have sometimes they fight us underwater because that's what they do sometimes. So the the Japanese prefer to fight underwater, and that so yeah, they they do that sometimes. They usually do that. It's only sometimes that they fight, like, not in the water. Oh, that's very interesting. Um, so, do your guns work underwater? Do you have different weapons that, that you use oh, for those missions? I, ha I have a water gun, but this time, like, this water gun actually is, like, with water with a laser mixed in together. Like, together. So, it's a it shoots water and a laser, or it, so it's a it laser like, that works underwater? And it also has, like electric stuff with it like it's an electronic one okay um and it's an electric one so like it would like taser them it would hurt a little bit now, and tickle a little bit if you're underwater wouldn't that also taser you because water is electric conducting I mean, no because that gun it has a special thing that it won't do that oh interesting well, these are incredible yes, weapons the, yeah the spy the spy weapons and stuff that we have they actually work to like not hurt us so would you say that the russian so like, spy agency like, is more technologically like, advanced than like, say like we were i was using a weapon i was pointing it at me for some on that and then on accident it started shooting me it wouldn't actually like shoot me it would just like shoot like 
They will just come out with bubbles. That's oh, interesting. It. So it's a smart weapon. That's very interesting. Yeah, I never, it doesn't hurt. Never heard of that. So would you say that the Russian agency is more technologically also advanced? I say, like, I was not in the water. Okay. I did. I sprayed it. It would only just, like, it would only just, just, um, make, like, just, like, a little spark so it doesn't hit me. Okay. Well, that's interesting. So... Um, we've established quite a bit here today. The Japanese like to fight underwater. Uh, oh, you've we got, also uh, have like um, like shields, special shields that we don't have to hold them either. They, so they, like they hold themselves. Fine. Yeah, they hold themselves. Interesting. Now, are you going to get in trouble with the agency for telling us all this? Um, no. They let me do. They let me do this. Um, there's also like this weapon that we have, so we could like fly. You know, like the superhero, you know, that has those, like, little wings when he jumps and he has that little drone. Oh, interesting. You know, so, so you... We have those so we can fly. So you, you've actually flown before? Yes. Wow, that's incredible. A, seven, a flying seven-year-old secret spy who's also an actress. This is... He also has, This should like, be a movie in and of itself. We have spy planes, too. So I flew those, too. You know those, like... The only the ones that have like only two seats in the back, hmm. and like the open is open here, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like that, yeah. and like then like that. Yeah. Well, the the audience can't see what you're doing, but of course you're you're referring to a biplane. Yes, of course. Yeah. Well, that's that's amazing. So, um, I guess that just about wraps it every, everything up because we've only got a couple minutes here left, and we've yeah, got some we sponsors have, like, to, 10 minutes to take left. care of. Yeah, like two, 10 minutes. I think it's a little bit less than 10 minutes, but uh, we, we, drew, we do appreciate you coming down. And uh, uh, unfortunately, we did have to kick Mario out of the studio. He was mm-hmm. being uh, quite belligerent. And uh, hopefully your, your mother can drive you home. Uh, if not, I'm well, sure you I could actually, fly home. But yeah, I have the flying thingy with me. Because um, after this, I'm going to go to the mission. Oh, interesting. So are any details you can tell us about this upcoming mission? Well, there's this guy, a great fighter. I have to go there alone with the headsets, too. We always go with the headsets mm-hmm. when we go to a mm-hmm. mission. I have to go there. Go look at, like, it gives me I have this, like, like thing that tells me information about him uh, right here. I just look at it. On the wrist, yeah. Yeah. Um, I tell him, you see, so I have to see the information. And then this is what we have to do. So I have to go in there, start fighting him. But if he, I mean, not fight him. I don't have to go in there and fight him. I have to watch him. And and then, like, start, like, and then, well, he's trying to, like, get some money and then do something to um hurt people. He's trying to get this big weapon. And we can't let him get it. Because then he could per- hurt people with that. Interesting. So I have to like fight him, make sure he doesn't get it. I have to make sure he doesn't get it. Now, do you wholeheartedly trust that information? Have you ever had a, a circumstance where the information came in on your wristband and then you weren't sure that the person was a bad guy? They seemed like a nice person. I mean, yeah, that happened. Like, say, one time this guy was just trying to get a shotgun. I thought he was going to steal it, but it was just so he could protect his family and stuff. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, that's that's a, a split second decision you have to make there, trying to determine if he's a good guy or a bad guy. Mm-hmm. It just tells me right here on my wrist. But you you always trust the the wrist information. You don't ever. Uh... Um, I I have to. I actually the wrist. Even if it gets messed up, it will still tell me the truth. So I I always trust it. It will always tell me the truth. Interesting. And do you feel weird that you're I mean, working for the foreign something. government? I mean, let me tell you something. Because, look, say a bad guy got my weapons. It wouldn't work on me, on him. So, like, say he, uh, on accident, the bad guy was using my one of my weapons and he shot it on him. It would actually work on him. It would actually hurt him. That's because incredible. They, because, because my weapons are smart. They know that he's a bad guy. That's incredible. I've never... I guess the the technology is so much more advanced. 
first one he beats up the bad guys or anything. The weapons could do that by themselves too. So then, um, if we would like, it would be, um, what was I going to say? They, they would come back to me when they're done, mm -hmm. like fighting. The weapons, yeah. Yeah, the weapons would come back. That's incredible. So, uh, just want to clear things up again. I'm not the bad guy. That's, that's the let key. Me, let me look on my wrist. I have it right here, see? It, it just looks like a regular wrist to me. I guess it's only for spies no, look, that you can see. Look, it's just on my, my hood. See? Now, it's funny. From my vantage point, it's saying that you're the bad guy. No, it doesn't say that. It's saying that there's a bad guy that will be here soon. Oh, okay. So, so he's coming the here. Bad guy. That's what I'm doing. So he's coming here. No, he will be at the place that he's trying to be soon. Oh, okay. He's just telling me that. It's not I guess you, I, you know what? We're not going to keep you any anymore because we want you to, to catch this bad guy. So I, I thank you for coming in, Bella. And uh, uh, hopefully your mom is going to find a ride home because I'm sure she's not going on the mission. Um, yeah, she maybe. goes home. I don't, I don't need to go home because I have... Different flying things too. I have this, like you know, you know the like the guy who leads the the um, the Guardians of the Galaxy. The guy, Star Lord. He. We also have one of those. How he could fly. So one there's of those a, there's things all that he uses to fly. We have those too. Interesting. So a jackpack. Well, and I, and I guess I guess your mom has one of those as well. So she, she probably won't need to call an Uber. Um, so but she'll she be able to brought her car. She's oh, she just okay. She just gonna drive home. The thing. But like, say she crashed, I would have to like maybe have to like go to the place and just go save her, and then I would have to do the mission. Well, saving so many people all at the same time. This has been great. This has been uh, Bella Stark, and uh, hopefully you can catch that bad guy. We'll uh, we'll try to catch up with you yeah, later on and I see mean, if you've uh, accomplished yeah. your mission. Yeah, I'll see guys like maybe um next time okay we'll see I you next time again. and thank you for listening uh everybody out there and just to clarify i am not a spy um i'm probably going to be visited by the cia but of course i have not done anything wrong so but say uh, you did something wrong we, i would have to get you take you to the agency and then we would have to say if you are guilty or not or if like we had to keep you there with uh, like something where you can't get out, you you would be stuck there. Well, uh, I'm not looking to get into that. I've uh, I've got a nice cold beer waiting for me at home. So uh, until next time, we'll see you later. Okay.